Sippers, welcome to this episode of the Tea With Me podcast with me, Shane Todd. Fun episode this week. Hey, what's new? Before we get into this episode, a couple things to plug. Number one is Patreon. Patreon.com slash Tea With Me podcast. Fill your boots. Two and a half years worth of content. 7,000 hours. Would it be? Uh, roughly of extra content live stream episodes and people go oh, I missed the live stream mate I was <laughs> I was stuck in a well you can listen back you can listen back to all of those some of your favourite comedians coming in live sometimes say they say cheeky things they don't mean to and afterwards you go was that live and I'm like I told you it was a live stream episode and they go can you take that out and I go I can't it was live patreon.com says to me podcast we have Live podcasts up there in front of an audience. We've got the waterfront. We've got limelight shows and loads more. And when we put tickets out for live shows, we go up there first. I am on tour. TheShaneTodd.com UK tour. Ireland shows. Opera House shows. The America shows are going to go up there. The Australia shows are going to go there. They may already be. They may already be. Who knows? Unless what would, what would be so shit is in between me saying this and the, this episode going out then the promoters like actually made this, this was a joke you're not we're not bringing you over we're sponsored by none other than Nord VPN you know by now that's a virtual private network it's a service that protects your internet connection and privacy online it protects your online identity by hiding your IP address and allows you to use public Wi-Fi spots safely you look you know here's the thing I don't even need to look at that anymore. I know NordVPN by now. I know what they do. Works with everything. Li- lin- Linux. <laughs> Mac, iOS, when even Android TV. No, Dan, don't show me that. You want to take your cybersecurity to the next level? You use NordVPN. What about if you're if you're out in a, in, a, in a Costa and you're using the public Wi-Fi? Hackers will get you. Hackers will get you. Before you know it, they're, you know, getting in your dad's head. That's how, that's how good these guys are nowadays. But with NordVPN, you can shield your online identity. You can also access content from anywhere, everywhere. You're, you're in, you know, when I'm in Australia, if I want to catch up on, uh, you know, b- uh, bar best on trains, I can do that. And I can do that because I've got NordVPN and I will be doing that. It works on everything. Just stick it on. You get an exclusive deal by going to nordvpn.com slash tea with me. You get a huge discount. And a bonus gift. That could be anything. It could be a skateboard. It could be a whip. It could be anything. It's completely risk free. NordVPN.com and use the code T with me. The link's in the description. We're also sponsored by Green Chef. Now you're going, hmm, Green Chef sounds good, but is that is that CCOF certified? <laughs> I'm, and I'm like, what, the California Certified Organic Farmers? <laughs> yes, yes it is. So don't worry. There's so many times I've used a meal plan service and I've tasted it and go, I spat it out and gone, this isn't CCOF certified. Green Chef is. It's a meal kit company. They make eating easy, eating well easy with plants that fit every lifestyle. So if you have like a nice clean lifestyle, you're a libra- Christian librarian, it's all good. If you're a, if you're a devil worshipping... Uh, Librarian, <laughs> you can eat Green Chef. Whether you're keto, paleo, pale, whether you're just a pale guy, if you're vegan, vegetarian, gluten free, or you just want to eat more balanced meals. You ever eat meals that are all off balance? Whoa. Green Chef offers a huge range of recipes to suit your preferences. They've expanded their menu. You can choose for over 30 me- recipes every week. That's too many, but Green Chef, like, we're CCF, OF certified. You've got the option to mix and match your meals from different dietary preferences, and God knows I have a lot of those, and that doesn't change your plan. In 2023, help yourself to delicious, easy-to-follow recipes that support your healthy lifestyle. They have premium protein, seasonal organic produce, and suitably sourced seafood. Yeah, it's not just some guy going out and catching it with his hands. Sustain it, what I say? Suitably. Well, it's suitably sustainable. Dan, and that's undeniable, and that's CCOF certified, which Dan isn't. They have fresh farm ingredients like figs, dates, and artichokes. Raise your food standards 2023. You get a special offer for all the sippers. You go to greenchef.com slash tea with me 60. Why 60? 
you get because you get sixty percent off. Well done, Dan. You passed and free shipping. Green Chef Dan, are you saying if you sign up for this and you get a discount, food will arrive at your house and you just cook it and it's easy to easy to make? Yeah. This guy's a dreamer. In the description, greenchef.com slash tea with me sixty. My guests, my esteemed guests, are none other than Mr. Colin Geddes, Mr. Dave Elliott. Two of the leading lights of I, I was gonna say our local comedy scene, but can I just say the world? Love these guys. Always fun to have them on. Two good friends of mine. We had a ball. We actually haven't recorded it yet when I'm doing this introduction, but I'm sure we do. I'm sure we do. Unless, like Australia, my offer to go to Australia, unless it just inevitably falls apart and we're all crying at the end. And days are wrecked. This is the Tea With Me episode 201? 202? 201. It doesn't matter anyway. With my guests, Colin Geddes and David Elliott. <gasps> Best school trip you've ever been on. Shoot. Have we started? Yeah. Wow. Well, I mean, the best one was when I went to South Africa. It was probably the best. That's how you know you went to, like, a good school. But well, Arden Bannon was hard to beat when we all... <laughs> South <laughs> Africa but, or Arden Bannon. But whenever we got the bully, we got the school bully in Arden Bannon in primary school. Sorry. We, did, <laughs> we got him. We did Lord of the Flies. We planned to get him. What is Arden Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ta- start, go, yeah. f- go from start. How the fuck do you know where Arden Bannon is? Do you know where Arden Bannon is? Arden Banshee's on the roof. Huh? Banshee's on the roof. Everyone said. No, he doesn't. Oh, you're going to Arden Bannon, the school trip. Don't be going. Don't be looking up at the roof in there because it's the Banshee's Where, where is it? It's like down here. It's outside Castle Well. Yeah. Nah, we wouldn't have been. Good do boulder and all. Nah. Helmets on into the river. To it's basically fuck. like a big house, isn't it? Yeah. And you go and do activities. And there's a wee woman who's a looper stuck upstairs in the window and you're not allowed to go into her room. Yeah. What face. What do you mean you got the school bully? So By we, the way, surprised that you're not the school bully because yeah. you look like an archetypal No, we, uh, but you know what? I was very sensitive. You know, I have a lot of empathy even as a child. So <laughs> I couldn't use my force. That's why I'm not doing the boxing. Hands of steel. I just could, don't want to hurt someone. Right. But we were there and we'd all sort of we're in a bunk together and the bully kind of just went around hurting people for fun. Like, <laughs> and we all made a plan. We're like, right, what we're going to do Lord of Fly style. We're gonna wait. We're gonna jump him. Eat him. We're gonna punt. Sorry, that also shows you the level of your school that everyone got, like knew Lord of the Flies. Yeah, and well, it's fly that they call me Piggy. And a fancy <laughs> boarding school <laughs> style yeah. trip away. And it's weird as well. At eight years old, we're all using a conch and we had to speak very organised. <laughs> but we said, right, when he looks around, we're gonna put a sheet over him and just basically kick the fuck out of him. So we did that. We got him. We put a bed sheet over him and we kicked the fuck out. Now one of the guys in my school. At that age, pro- I haven't seen him since primary school. I'd say likely he's kill people because right. he went and he got batteries and put them in a sock. And his full metal jacket. Yeah, were you were you not in the band? Full tweed jacket. <laughs> <in the> band. <laughs> <laughs> so it's fine. And then we all obviously once we kicked him, we ran out, and he got the sheet off. Now the one guy who so you put so you put a sheet on him and then beat him up. Yes, right. And then whenever he got the sheet off him, there was one guy who was just the nerd. And I was nearly near to give him his full name there, but he's just sitting reading his book before bed. And the bully saw him and just, I, I trailed the fuck out of him. Pulled him off the top bunk, broke the ladders and all, kicked up. Pulled him off him. in the top bunk? No, no yeah, give him a wank. <laughs> and then broke his head through the ladder. And then he got into trouble, the bully and the boy got his fuck kicked in. We all just got away with it. It was good. Yeah. Why did that time. all sound made up? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, that sounded like you were just reading yeah. from a kid's book. <laughs> Called the bully. And the bully got the sheet. <laughs> the, 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 that was it. The bully and the boy. <laughs> the bully yeah. and the boy. No. Which we could definitely be on the cover of. No, yeah. Someone I, trying to throw a sheet over you and they're yeah. not being able to grab yeah. it the other side. <laughs> and you know the bully. I will not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will not disclose him. Yeah. But yeah. It was and a lot of fun. won't get him now. And you went to South Africa was good? Yes. To play rugby. So Feels like you could do that here. I could mean... But yeah, the you get absolutely coach. hammered. Yes. What yeah. age were you? Like Sixteen. So. Right. The PE coach, so he got a brand new MG out of it as well. So it was it was a good trip. What do you mean? Because obviously oh. all the parents had to give all the dough in for the oh, holiday. Oh yeah. So we all went to South Africa, and the, the head coach got a new MG out of it. Just a coincidence. How long did you go for? Four weeks. Six hundred pounds worth. Did yeah. you do like? Uh, did you go see like the the the, the pro, not the projects? What do you oh, I was wondering what you were going to say there. Um, the shanty towns, yes. We did. We went in, saw some people. Weird that when you go into the shanty town, they just give you young children to just like hold their hands off and stuff. I didn't ever. Or just run around holding these kids' hands and they're all dancing around. No, it was it was nice. Yeah, that's what people think just when they see lar- yeah. large white guys in a <laughs> developing country. Yeah, 
you are here for sex <laughs> with children. Six weeks. <laughs> <coughs> nah, none of my kids are even sexy, like, but um, they were good fun. No, they were good crack. Best school trip? Never went on one. I didn't go on a trip till I was in uni. Huh? Because it was all like, you know, do you want to go fucking skiing for three weeks? No, but even like, Edinburgh was the best one I went on. Right. Did you, so was he off, offered there to do it, but you just were not? I don't know, it was just always, you know, they would throw, they'd be like, do you want to go to the Swiss Alps? And then the wee ladder would come home to your parents. It's only like six, <laughs> 6,800 pounds. Yeah. My dad would be like, fuck that. <laughs> He'd be assuming, can you not ski in the garden? Yeah. <laughs> Where's that place? Mount Dober? Where the fuck's that? There's a dry slope up in Mount anywhere. Dober, Castle Ray. It was just the shittest thing of all time. That's a vlog. Yeah, I don't think it's still there. I think it's where, where, maybe where I've already gone now. Right. Or just an old dump. We went to Edinburgh. Um, in P7 and for sure like top banter guy away I started like taking the sugar out of everybody's room you were a virgin then weren't you <laughs> in P7 yeah. how harrowing would it be if I wasn't <laughs> so I I started taking I was like oh, give me that give me that and at one point had the a sugar? mask yeah yeah had what were you doing <laughs> <laughs> from who just like other get mates rooms sugar. Yeah. and took oh, them sugar. and had like Maybe maybe a hundred at one point, and just just in in the corner of my room, and then someone told the teacher, and I got so much shit for it, but no one could really work out whether I deserved it. Like it wasn't, I wasn't doing anything wrong. You, you know what? Like, Unless you're going to tell me you poured boiling water on it, fucked up the bully's face. That's a shit story. <laughs> <laughs> what a, what a, uh, so you've always been a mad cop. Yeah, basically, <laughs> and I was wearing a particularly nice next. Roll neck <laughs> it was cream like Steve Jobs it was cream with a navy thing across it and it said next and I would and this is how much I am the boy and the boy of the bully story I wouldn't wear it and I remember my mum going Liam Gallagher designed that <laughs> alright then alright <laughs> <laughs> Liam Gallagher's next collab range I was like oh my god school trips were, were, were class but I can't remember I honestly can't remember even just wee silly any. ones like Carlingford yeah did you do that one nope Oh. Went to Liverpool, that was a good time. But oh. again, I was just upper six, just for Stag. played one rugby match, just got pissed, it was great. But no, there did was you a thing in our school, not a couple of things that were like mad Christian stuff. There was one was Arden Bannon. So they'd always like bribe you. They'd be like, You come to Arden Bannon, we'll go see Man United and they're gonna pray for a bit, if you know what I'm saying? So that was the bribe to get the people to go. The other one was this thing, Manifest. Right. Which was like this Christian like festival they went to and like hey man you go to man everyone's like manifest pretty mad no you should go and it's like what do you do do you do drink oh you don't drink it's like well do you get a buzz and you're like yeah off the lord and it's like What's <laughs> <laughs> overdosed on christ yeah. and then there was <laughs> shots of holy water and they were like, oh, there were always a problem where was it there was one guy i don't know they just and but there was one guy who went and apparently he came back with stories like he got sucked off a manifest which is like <laughs> how the fuck did you well that was the same do you remember summer madness yeah it was that people yeah. would talk about and it would be like they'd, they'd go mental at it and was it Christian? Like, yeah, it was a Christian festival. Christian? Like, <laughs> it was a Christian festival. A Christian. And they used to like proper go nuts at it. Imagine when you just judged it, we're like, oh, it's going to be like Bible school. Yeah. It's just like the fucking wicker man. It's just this man, <laughs> everyone naked running around. What, was, you, what was your uni trip you eventually went on? It was like a trip to London. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Are you panning them bare? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was so fucking, it was like, because we're in our college, and it was like, we'll go around a bunch of museums and shit. Right. And just show you like there's an Andy Warhol and you'd be like looks the same as it did in the book fair play <laughs> that's um yeah it'd be weird weird to go away with uni because you're just like a full adult it was mad though because they gave you an envelope for, it had about 18 tickets in it for shows and like it was oh, really? the, the envelope was probably worth about fucking three grand I went to see the Lion King last week emotional oh yeah massively well really? I can't tell you about the play I went to see when I was in London that time no. It was called the day we knew nothing of each other or something, oh, and no. it was about it was about the bombings and you remember the tube bombings in London, right? yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it had no dialogue in it, right? So it was like this, you know, everyone's in that national theatre, like this is fantastic, yeah. you know, a great piece about the whatever. But these people were coming out, and it was like it was like ma it was like miming <laughs> what would have happened on that day with no sound effects or music, and also people were coming out like oh oh. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, like this and everyone's, everyone's like, like you know like really enjoying it and I was like what the fuck is going on in here mom wants to just be trying to pretend kid. like <coughs> imagine going in for a rehearsal and someone was just like okay here's the scene a bomb goes off in a train 
but we won't have any noise or anything <laughs> yeah. to react to if you could just show us just how you react. Eyes. So this person's like, <laughs> 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 for some reason that feels like if you were to get like confectionery and eat it during it, it'd be really disrespectful. Oh yeah. Well, there's a restaurant beside it, and it's the whole place thank a fish. Right. So it was very, you know, like sensory yeah, yeah, yeah. craziness. It was like, smells like fish. You could hear people's like bare feet on the stage. It was so quiet. Was that, speaking of fish, the w- the one you were telling me about last night? About the the show you went to see and the wee wardrobe malfunction? Oh yeah, th- yeah. Was that it? Yeah, we're talking about how many <laughs> fannies you'd seen <laughs> w- without uh, earning any proximity yeah. to the fanny. Just a random time, you'd be like, oh, there's a fanny. I went to see yeah. a p- <laughs> What's mental is? You guys are dads. Oh yeah. <laughs> many fannies you reckon you've seen, Colin? I know, but like, out of, like, out of, con- fannies, out of yeah. context. <laughs> yeah. Fannies. Potentially the best kind. Yeah. So Yeah. Well one time not the best kind, but tell me more about that. Well, one, 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 one was it one was at a gig where someone was in like the front row on this bench and she pished and like just sort of turned around with these shorts on and just full growler hanging out. <laughs> and that was that caught me off guard. It was a bit like hey, you know like that. And uh he better have a ticket. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, someone's hungry. <laughs> <coughs> uh, <coughs> and then the second one again was at some uni play. Or so, so I knew some people doing like drama and they're like, we're doing these monologues. And you had to go and watch like fucking 10 people do like a one man play for about 10 minutes. And this girl was like, pretend to be in bed, you know. Did you ever see those monologues? Yeah, They yeah, try and yeah. get all the acting in in like 10 minutes. So it's like very quiet and whatever. And then they realize something and then they go in their rage and then they go, and then it's all fuck. It's a roller coaster. But yeah. this girl started with a duvet <laughs> over in the middle of the stage and like woke up and like, oh, you know, like acting. And then like threw the thing back and sat up and just slice uh, and there's just a very small like <laughs> theatre of people trying to be like yeah. I like what she's doing but you know she did about another two minutes in that position like talking to nobody right. and everyone was just like mm. I think and then that one fucking you know, I like think standard ovation an, an unintentional one once in the Robinson Centre and I walked into the women's change room by mistake oh, I was I, maybe six or seven and uh, said thank you Thank you. You know, just like in a panic, walked yeah. out, and I, I was it was like a full woman, foot up on the bench, getting dried. But that is where she should have had her growler out. The Robinson Centre? Yeah, in the cheese rooms. Unless it was like in the fucking foyer. No, the no, cafe. No, no, no. You're like, Oops. <laughs> <laughs> once I once I went there, it was like a Saturday morning. Say they opened at like nine, and I might have arrived at like ten to nine. I went swimming and there was people in the pool but there was no one to like take your money or tickets so I was like alright just maybe pay later or something went and jumped in <laughs> it, was, it was like a staff training session but like easy mistake to make yeah. and I was just this wee kid who jumped in and I just remember the whole pool turned around to me and like the fuck are you doing I was like I didn't mean to <laughs> and just the, the, the sheer anger of people I loved swimming as a kid. Once I went to Robin Center, I was doing a gala, and the day before it, I put I got Smash Hits magazine, and there was free transfers of like all the pop bands of the day, and I put them all on because I didn't have any brothers or sisters or mates, and uh, just like in the house, and then went swimming the next day. Up. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was like remember you'll know Michael Jackson's nephews had a band, Three T. Yeah, it was like them. They had so I was covered. I was like Michael. Who's that guy from Prison Break? Michael nice. Scofield, yeah. the other one. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> like a wee white yakuza, just fully tatted up, tatted up. Is that tattied up? <laughs> you guys getting tatted up? <laughs> and is that's probably why they wanted really. Do you remember Sea yeah. World in uh, or Water World in Port Rush? <laughs> no. Do yeah, you, do you remember that? It's beside the Harbour Bar. Aye, yeah. It might not be, but it was scary because you. Oh, I was saying, is it still bar? open? Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's still there. Fuck me. But you would go in and they'd have a fish tank full of fucking, uh, like, fish. well, no, it wasn't even fish. It was like lobsters and shit, which is very scary when you're a kid. Like you're going, are they, are they, are they is that linked somehow to the pool or whatever? <laughs> but I was in there and the, they've got like a deep end and a, a kid's pool divided yeah. by like big, like fucking ballards in the middle uh-huh. of the pool. And I was like going from one to the other and stepped over and stood on a like loose tile and just sliced the bottom of my foot open. <laughs> and it was fucking bleeding all into the pool. And But, uh, they're obviously like trying to avoid a claim, so yeah. that was like a wee yeah. prince for the next time. Yeah. yeah. Like, we'll get some medicated talc in that. Would you want chips? Do you want a free t shirt? I'm sitting with a wee hat on. I was going to say, how nowadays that would be like a 15 grand claim, whereas back oh, it was yeah. like yeah. a couple of packets of fives 
an umbongo, and also see because your hat's like half an inch higher, it's way funnier. And yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> you know I, I was in a car. I was in a car. Speaking of claims, I was in a car crash one time, yeah. as you well know. Yeah. Big scar on my head, and I had, like all the boys that were in the car crash had to go to the courts and like talked all these things, and uh, people. people, all these, all these, you know, like what do you, call, you know, these guys. judges, I, and. Uh, there was all these solicitors from each side all looking at each other and the guy's like, let me, a wee tiny guy, he's like, let me see your head, man. And I bent down <laughs> and uh, he's looking at the top of my head and he, be- he basically said, without saying it, he's like, if you were a pretty young girl, you'd be getting about 100 grand. <laughs> but you're a big, fat, ugly cunt. <laughs> so you'd be getting nothing. Just three wee men staring at the top of my fucking bald head. The rude, aren't they, in the fucking courts? I mean, not there. much. Hard, like to be I've been in once. Rude bastards. Feel- you're it, always, always in and out of the courts. Bastards. You look like a guy who just go like to spectate. Yeah, God, I look like a sort of guy who's mates with a guy that's in court a lot. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. Like sure, guy. straight. You just have the arms folded. Yeah. You look like I'd always be waiting by like the jail gates. Yeah, and I'm always getting phot- photographed. I guess. Well, me and you look like <laughs> two fellas. Yeah. The, we the, we do look like loyalist paramilitaries. Oh, we we look like we could be. In. We also look like we would have gone to meet King Charles with Zelensky yesterday. You know, like <laughs> yeah. these are my friends. <laughs> yeah. uh, nice to meet you, Fat Finger. Let's see, Fat Finger and the Eggman. Humpty <laughs> <laughs> Dumpty. Fat Finger and the Eggman. <laughs> Zelensky roasting people. He's a comedian too, isn't he? Yeah, I love but, to know how good he was. Or is this is. good look? Just sit, leave it yeah. sitting a wee bit. Yeah, just get tired. He's seventeen. <laughs> You're like live action Elmer Fudd. <laughs> <laughs> What's a nice hat though? McCarney bought me this. Nice. Yeah, we're in a relationship. <laughs> <laughs> and just, just like David Hay, just I've, I, with McCarney and my wife. It's mm-hmm. a nice time. My wife. My wife. Is that real? The David Hay thing? Yes, he has sex with everyone. But he's in a, th- a relationship with a three thruple. people. Why not? Yeah, a throuple. I mean, he is. You know what? Sexy fuck. He is good. Yeah, good looking guy. But both his mi- both both his miss is the Messiah are also sexy. You know what I mean? Messiah. <laughs> Messiah are very sexy. Fucking load of tribesmen. How was <laughs> Lavery's last night? Lovely. Ten out of ten. The green room's the best part. Oh, it is. Yeah, there was uh, a very international crowd. Yeah, as in four people from Scotland. But oh, but what? hey, those that couple from Scotland, they were horny for each other in the front row. Oh yeah, I, I announced the break, and the guy was like, "Yeah, fucking yes, man!" <laughs> fucking hand up with skirt on. <laughs> Dan, Dan, get on that. When I went on, right, je- like you were talking to them initially, and I was like, "Oh, I must be doing a wee bit of heavy petting or something." She had his cock, like fully had his cock, ah. and I was like, "You just have his cock." She was like, "I." Like, wow. how, how much do any of us, like any local comedian, when you're at a gig and you hear someone's not from here, it's just like, <laughs> like it's just a red rag to a bull. You're like, yes, but those guys, yes, yes. those two. They loved it. There was a lot. The other two girls from Scotland, they were nice. Yeah, everybody in the front row were lovely. Remember the was Dutch woman? Time? Was she Dutch? I missed that. I was aware. Oh, or was she a ni- the nightmare one? She was the worst. Yeah, she was the w- and she was like at the back to the left. Yeah, right? yeah. I think she was front row. It one of those ones like because she was like not front row. Uh-huh. She was getting away with a lot more, but it was like it had been such a good night, and she's going to bed. And like people did take it in. Obviously, anytime you do stand up, and if some you know, anyone not from here, you t- you know you, you getting to know why somebody's here will always be funny. Yeah. Like there's always like a silly reason to it. Um, my my mo- my family died at the funeral. <laughs> I was yeah. living in Holland trying to pay for them because they're, they're disabled and they've all died. So that's why I'm home. See, uh, trying to have a laugh here just to forget about it. Cheers. I was yeah. getting a flight that was cancelled, and they were letting why? a small amount of. <laughs> It's the most you thing ever. <laughs> Class, empty flight. <laughs> it's cheaper if you book it that's already left. Um, they, and many times have I phoned you being like, here, can you take me to the international airport? Yeah. Where are you? City airport. <laughs> <laughs> that was the worst scene when I lived close to the yeah. city airport. I was like, fuck, any time my phone rings at a weird time for him. He's at the wrong airport. I know, you know the, like, the wee bridge over the top of the bypass? I'd always yeah. just ring him and go, look up, David. <laughs> me waving at his window. I'll see you at the train station. <laughs> <laughs> Like so um, they, this was so bad uh, the flight got cancelled last minute they were like we can let a small amount of people on the last flight from London to Belfast and a guy in front of them everyone like walked and the guy in front of me said he was going to a funeral of like his friend and I was right behind him and the lady went after he'd spoken and said all the circumstances she went <coughs> are you with him and he'd already started to walk off and I went yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I had to like walk pretty close to him because it was like a long walkway and I was like, 
ah, this is this feels terrible. Yeah, this feels terrible. But you could just pretend you didn't hear them. Oh, it's, I don't know what you said. It's just yeah, like lost. Um, what was I saying at the start of this? Comedy, the, laveries, people from Holland. That woman, foreigns. She. The worst thing is, it had been such a good night, and Keezy, it was Keezy who got it the worst. And he was headlining. He starts brilliant, and it's like, ah, it's been a great night. And then she goes, and he has like enough of an interaction with her to satisfy everybody. Yeah. And then she just can. Condi- she's like, she realizes it's funny that she's not from here, has an accent, and is saying like quite mental things. Uh-huh. And then she just wants to be the star of the show. Has she had a few scoops? She had had a few. Yeah. It's hard to tell whether had a few scoops or like it's just like a little bit of a character. Had a wee bit loops. Yeah. yeah. But one that of my, one of my favorite things at the minute is if a new bouncer starts in Lavery's and they're not quite. You don't have the sort of etiquette for a comedy club. Yeah. They're still on like Saturday night, two AM. <laughs> yeah. So like normally someone would go like, keep keep it down, please. You know, you're disturbing the show or whatever. And you get some new boy that's just you know like some girl be like, could you tell him to be quiet? He's like, I know what. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, that's all right. here, calm down. Yeah. <laughs> so, some guys are gonna kick me out the other day. <laughs> I took I took a phone call and went to walk out the side door, and he's like, whoa. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Was that that one that was like just standing where we all stand and made? Oh well, yeah, they they decided to put someone down yeah. the back of the room. I was like, don't, was, don't be there. I like to, uh, this is where the comedians stand. And you know, whenever like you get close to someone, you want them to move, and you're kind of going, yeah. And he was just going. <laughs> <laughs> he was basically completely <laughs> smothered by Austin <laughs> Bar Matthews, <laughs> and he's still just like, yeah. I did um, a gig years ago in Vittorio's Music College back when he was just like a student there, and it was a Paddy's Day. And when he I was arrived, shredding it on the triangle. <laughs> yeah. And when I arrived, they they went, uh, "This is uh, James, or whatever." And it was a guy in a full suit, and I thought he was like a conductor as part of the orchestra, oh. and like was doing a gig that night. But he kept like being around me and with me, and he's like making small talk, and I was like, oh, "This guy maybe just really social." I noticed he had an earpiece on. And I was like, what's with the earpiece? He's like, oh, just in case anything escalates. Uh, what do you mean? He, They had given me a private security guy who was, like, shadowing me the whole time. Now, this is eight years ago. <laughs> There's 40 people at the gig, and they're music students. I was like, oh. man, I don't know if you need to really work tonight. I don't know how much you'll be needed. He's got, like, a fake arm. Yeah, he was, <laughs> he was like... Don't <laughs> <laughs> you worry. There's any hecklers. He was telling me the people he protected, like top names and like entertainment. I was like, this might be a quieter night. Biggins. <laughs> might be a quieter Biggins. night. Biggins. <laughs> Bless it. <laughs> Biggins. Is Biggins still alive? Oh, why? Biggins alive and kicking. Biggins and Tupac? Is his name Biggins? <laughs> yeah, Christopher yeah. Biggins. Biggins Moss. Christopher, I mean, you say it all together, it makes sense. Yeah. I thought was Biggins was like a nickname for a second. Biggins you could conceivably be a grime artist, couldn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Imagine your name is like Tracy Biggins and your big fat tits. That's a great. That's my. That's my drag name. <laughs> Tracy Biggins. <coughs> I'll host. I'll host at this box tomorrow night. That's Tracy Biggins. <laughs> and her voice is definitely. Oh, are you slang? Are you fucking slang? Oh, Tracy, Tracy Biggins. Biggins. A big fucking stein of beer between yeah. the two tits. <laughs> Tracy Biggins yeah. has a lighter under one. The full pack of eggs on the other. What do you one. need? What do you need? Tell me. Bag of crisps. <laughs> There's definitely a sitcom in like yeah, all those out of work <laughs> models from that era of like loaded. Not Zoo. Oh yeah. You know who now that you know other people like you can't actually pose like this and do this kind of thing. I mean, do you know what I liked about that time? You'll appreciate this. Mm-hmm. There were fairly regular girls, just yep. with big milkers. Lucy, what do you call her? Pinder. Yeah, Pinder. I'm going oh. on Google. Abby, yeah. Abby Titmus. Yeah, I mean, no, well, Titmus. Well, she was John Greg, not John. Gre- <laughs> <laughs> John, John Leslie, Gregory. John Gregory. <laughs> <still apologize. laughs> <laughs> Can I tell you a story about him? Yeah. Not relevant to anything. Nobody will enjoy this. Yeah. My my. Uh, so, for anyone who doesn't know, John Gregory used to manage QPR in Aston Villa, uh-huh. and he's probably like a sixty-five-year-old English guy. I actually think he's dead now. RIP. He, he, uh, oh, is he? I think so. Aye. Is well, he? Dan, my mate Dan, can you can you confirm John Gregory's uh, uh, life or lack of? Whoa. Um. So John Gregory showed up to like a Sunday league. Can you said also sounds like a name you caught your penis. John Gregory. <laughs> he John showed up. Greg. He, he's okay. Yes, he's John Gregory. He showed up to a yeah. Sunday league, guys in his late fifties. Wikipedia. He's okay. And he walked. <laughs> he, he walked into a changing room of like young guys. He's like in his late fifties, but I think he played Premiership and stuff. Oh, wow. and he went right, lads. I'm taking corners, free kicks, penalties, and everyone's like, "All right, he's fucking <coughs> John Gregory." And my mates were like, "I can't believe we're playing with him." He said he was the shittest player he'd ever played with <laughs> in his entire life. He's like, he was hitting corners, his legs barely worked, he wasn't lifting the ball off the ground. But I just love the attitude of like, I'm hitting everything. It's guaranteed play. 
yeah isn't it? what I liked about Nuts is you say I like it's for the jokes I'm buying it for the jokes because yeah. it was one joke page and yeah. the rest was just they have great articles in there yeah, I enjoy it whopping babs like yeah it was a great it was a great time simpler times but it was like because i get it when i went to tech and then you read it on the way home on the bus but it was just like it was porn it was basically porn like but i'm and i'm just 16 like like richie rich just sitting yeah. in the back of a bus with a packet of dairy milk tasters yeah criminally underrated but it was like, like there's nothing more exciting than whenever a reality star whopped them out like a nuts at a surprise reveal nuts and zoo were kind of the same but like the, then you load before that was like be like maxim loaded yeah a few magazines they, they like were that. monthly weren't they so you had mm. to wait on that and then there was, was a magazine to, the, across the car scene max and, Paul, and yeah. breasts yeah max oh yeah Paul. but the, yeah they'd be like do you like this fucking new alloy wheel <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> just tent spell there for was, no reason really there was nothing more aggressive when you went into like an office like a factory and if you were ever in like the rec room the calendars they had yeah the most explicit mm-hmm. things like yeah. that there's no way that's done anymore no i remember finding out do you remember <laughs> blue Cantrell? oh yeah yes. yeah so i heard somewhere that she'd done there was like a there was a sort of rap slash black culture magazine and she did a spread and a, and a, an actual spread. <laughs> where I remember you? doing a bit of deep and I, and she, it's so aggressive. Say, you'd have to deep like, dive because where would you get it? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was going, you'd have to deep. Oh, hold on. Yeah. I mean, I swear to God, it's yeah. it's not like she's like you know yeah. cute folks. Yeah. She's literally like like she's yeah. opening yeah. a sleeping bag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, like she's where do I put my lipstick? You know, like <laughs> remember uh, How the spread? Can I get like that's oh the yeah the WWF wrestler of China. Yeah. Remember she did a Playboy. Yes. And at the time everyone was like, oh, but like had a dick though. Yeah. Fat clit. <laughs> <laughs> that's hemorrhoids bro <laughs> she had X-Pac bent over a fucking sofa yeah. <laughs> what a niche reference they were going out wasn't it yeah, yeah. and he was built like a breadstick and then yeah. she came yeah. in like oh well that body was pipe on him did he yeah. oh yeah has he got a sex tape uh, yeah it does does he do his move? Because remember, the he used to do that top rope straight in your arse. Fucking it was skull in if he did it over the skull. Yeah, but his move was that you'd sit like on the ground and then he'd like put his legs both yeah. sides of your head. Bronco and, Buster and bump yeah. your head, yeah. What was weird is when you were messing about with mates and someone did that, Yeah, that was weird. No, because like, you'd be doing all the other moves, chokes, slams, power bombs, and all messing your mates. As soon as like, you take them too far, yeah, get your wee. And, like, put your pants on. Remember once I was wrestling with a fella, you, again, you, you, <laughs> all right. you know, and. And what you, hold on, in what, in what setting? Just like in his house, because it was 15 or something. And oh, I, get it. Yeah, Slightly too old. 12. Right. And <laughs> I lifted him up to do the power bomb, but his gooch stank that I dropped him on his neck and thought I killed him. <laughs> so I got him up and oh, I just dropped him fully. And he was a big boy. Like, yeah. Yeah, and I'll tell you who is off air, but you'll, you'll be like, I can see why you would have done that. So you sniffed the man's gooch and you weren't happy about Yeah, why did no. you, when you had him up there, why did you. <laughs> why did you have a big sniff? You just have to breathe, man. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's Blue could like it. Yeah, so that's a good reference. I know. Good. No. Nice round. Yeah, nice. I know. Blue can. She wore a certain type of hat because was I at a. Ge- was it you? A blue one. We're doing a gig and you were like, that's a blue control. You made a reference to someone's hat being like blue control. I think it might have been you and I don't think you remember you did it. Ah, oh, man, I just, I look just churn out so much gold. I can't even. <laughs> and that opens up Abby, Abby Tennis. Tennis. Whoa. <laughs> Who are you, Slate? <laughs> Fucking Tracy Biggins. Uh, you know what's a word that's died out with those magazines? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Cracking. <laughs> <laughs> Spell it. P H W O A R. And you can add as many O's in it. Isn't it? It, was <laughs> it was like I think Danny Dyer had an article on those too. It was like oh. his, his like his <coughs> his column. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then yeah, it would be like a like your cover thing. There would be a jokes page. You know who had a wee and a gruesome injury. There was a gruesome injury page too. And you know who had an article who had it spread in the two? Who? Westwood. Oh right dear! Day, yeah, was, baby! Oh dear! Yeah, he was causing the scene. McGabry, baby! <laughs> <laughs> when you stop and look at a person like that, yeah, yeah, you know, you're always like, "West with baby on the radio," and you know what he looks like and whatever. But and he was you actually stop and look at him, and he you're never, like, he never yeah. stopped Aids. to let you have a look at him. That that was yeah. his trick. Oh, he kept moving. Yo, baby! You know, yeah. and then you so look at me, I'm seventy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm made out of swings, baby. <laughs> My ashy fa- yeah, who wants dagger in a fucking university nightclub? <sighs> I'm coming to your student <laughs> union, baby. <laughs> Clean your for free <laughs> for free <laughs> not even booked in babe <laughs> <laughs> every time he was doing BCM and Magaluf when we went to see DJing him. in the halls and sorry he, and <laughs> dick the halls baby <laughs> but genuinely right dick the halls <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but he was he was by obviously doing his stuff, playing his music or whatever. And you know what? In between songs, he's dropping bombs and whatever. Yeah, and then he's trying to like my podcast. get people <laughs> get people psyched up. He genuinely goes, "Ladies, I want to see those pussies in the sky." <laughs> And I remember everyone sort of looked at each other and went, Timmons Castles. In what, in what, in what context do you do that? Yeah. And like you think, does he mean like, go, like, there you go. And one wee fella who had a, a bigger lady genuinely lifted her like it was a prize pig. And, like, <laughs> and Weston was like, Tell nah. me. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? You know, like he's showing a prize at her raffle. He was like, no, I was oh, wasn't too old, thing. baby. Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> we were too old. <laughs> Absolutely rank. <laughs> Holler at your butler. Why did he say that? Do you remember that? <laughs> <Yeah. Answer. laughs> Holler yeah. at your butler. Wow. <laughs> we uh, we were too old for BCM one one, but it was great. Yeah. Oh, but back in those young, like back in the young days, it was great when you were eighteen. Poor. <laughs> he was on one night. MC Romeo was on another night. And Pat Romeo, Sharp, uh, hold on. When yeah. you say MC Romeo, Don. Romeo, Don, and Pat Sharp was doing a DJ set. So it was all the legends. Stop. Two yeah. months play by. Remember his song, Christina Milian. It's all gravy. Yeah, baby. Yeah, it's a good song. Um, worst lyrics of all. Back it's in my school gravy. days. Yeah. The cool days. <laughs> Romeo Dunn. He was a sexy wee man, like, wasn't he? Yeah. So well, it was the voice, too. Like, mm, I bought 21 yeah. Seconds in CD single. I think yeah. I did, too. I think, yeah. That's Got it. Got the album, too. That first So Solid Crew album. It's great. Yeah, Full it was bangers. Good, wasn't it? Yep. Missed Dynamite. They don't know I was in a queue you. for Woolworths. <laughs> <laughs> I was in a queue for Woolworths bing, to bing, buy that. Bing, bing. And there was a guy with vouchers for Woolworths. Nice. And I was maybe uh, 12 or something when that came out. And a guy goes, mate, if you're going to buy it, will you give me your 20 <coughs> quid and I'll give you these vouchers oh, for 20 shame. quid? And I went, yes, mate. And I took them and then went up to pay and they, they were fake. Yeah, of course. He got me. Mugged. Because it was just after Christmas, so everybody was, he probably, yeah. man probably made it, probably, probably McDonald. I thought this yeah. was going to be another, like, I'm going to a funeral. <laughs> yeah. I need rid of these vouchers. There was a guy, um, when I was coming out of a garage to do a gig in Lisburn once and he had just clearly had surgery on his eye so it was like you know when an eye is like dark red Aye. with a wee bit of black in between but he, and he was basically looking for a lift and I was walking out of the spa and he was like save you to me yeah. so this eye is normal yeah. and he went alright mate would I be able to and I went and when he turned around I couldn't help but do like a little <coughs> ah! you know like just like that yeah. dark red shark eye and he said, his opening thing was, he goes, I'm a fisherman from Analong. I went, whatever it is, no. Yeah. And he, he asked for a lift. I was like, dude, can I get this part? We were talking about weird eyes. Yeah. We were talking about the, outside the limelight, the, you know, the, the girls selling the roses. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I just remember, I remember. Is that still going? Uh, I haven't been to the limelight in a while, like, right. you know, partying. Yeah. But they used to be outside all the time. You buy rose. Uh, and uh, one of the one of the daughters was yeah. fucking hot as fuck. <laughs> she looked like a Kardashian, right? right. Until like she, until she was like <laughs> she was like uh. she was like you and turned around and I was like God damn, Jesus Christ, look at her! And then she turned around and she's like you buy us? and she just had one absolute mental eye. <laughs> And I was like, is she doing it for the sympathy? What? <laughs> 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 on there! <laughs> boom, 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 boom! <laughs> but all the, like, for, you know, like, like Kim rest, Kardashian, yeah. and then just like, just put these shades on, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Someone, uh, speaking of limelight, I can't remember who I was talking to. Maybe when I was away, somebody went. How's <laughs> <laughs> it cold? They are chilly, all right. I've got nice warmers. Oh, they do. Yeah. I think somebody was asking nice about soft. the. <laughs> The, Kev the whole Kevin Hart gigs and, and time that that happened I went that was a bit mental wasn't it <coughs> I don't think I <laughs> thought of that in a way it was since it happened it, it, oh, it went through the glass ceiling of uh, surreal to where it was just like well what can you do that happened but I, 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 I it was class I, and don't reflect on it for one second yeah. if you know what I mean <laughs> yeah, it just no. became so I think we were talking about how weird it became that it was so normal to, you, it was just like, alright you know it's it, another show. To be fair, it was an odd scenario. Yeah. Because everyone else looking in was like, man, that must be fucking mad. And you're like, we don't speak to him or get to see him. Yeah. So it's kind of weird. And and it was, and even when it was our shows, because some of them, he just didn't want to be on the bill at all. So it was like me and you, double header. And we were like six minutes into the set and it's like, hey, hey you got to leave. And then tee it up for him. But it was just... Yeah, I, could chat, I think I was chatting to someone in New York about it, and I was like, ah, yeah, it was mad. It was that, this amount of shows, and... But it was wild. Like, when you watch this special, the special that he's doing when it comes out on Netflix, probably inevitably in some stadium or arena, that that was crafted. 
in Belfast and you're like a part in a way a part of it not a part of it you know what I mean like yeah. you were you were f- facilitating that material being tried out yeah but it was just it, it feels like so it feels like it didn't happen like it was just a joke or something that we all came up with and and not that many people got to actually see the shows yeah it's funny that a lot of people think it was still a hoax mm-hmm. yeah you know I couldn't fucking get a ticket at all it is cra- it is kind of crazy yeah it, it, but it's like anything like what can you do now it's over it's, yeah, it's, it's mental. It's mental. It's like that's comedy in general. Yeah, I'm doing the fucking biggest gig of my life. Blah blah blah, and then an hour later. Yeah, but it's it's like it never happened. You know, what I mean? it's like there we are on the next one. But it's mad how how much like obviously everybody talks about the scene and the the massive amount of people who are into it are like you know can you believe everything that's blowing up and everything that's happening? But then a comment I'm starting to hear more all the time is. Why, why is nobody talking about it? And it doesn't make sense because you're like, so many people are coming to shows and coming out to support local comedy. But it's not, and maybe that's a good thing, but no one's really talking about the magnitude of everything. And I mean, people that aren't really into the scene. Well, the thing I keep saying to people is like, you know, I'll be like, I'm in a WhatsApp group and like everybody does theatres and arenas. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You're like, that's fucking demented. But it, it just feels like that's not reflected in, and it doesn't need to be. But you look at TV here, or radio, or anything like that. Like it's, like it feels like when the scene was, not on its knee, but there was definitely a time where it was like slim pickings. There was way more. It felt like it'd be easier to get like something made, or there was more interest in like let's well, show the scene, whether it was on TV or radio, whatever. Whereas now, it's like. The la- I was going to say the last days of Rome that's the opposite of what I'm trying mm-hmm. to say because that was but, bad uh, there's the a whole time. load of things going on it's like you know say like if you ran a venue and the venue held 3,000 people you would be booking people in and you're going like who the fuck is this and it's like sold out and uh-huh. it's just someone who has like a following online Yeah, I think things are going like that now where everyone's following is just like channeled into this wee thing and it's not yes. like broadcast to everybody if you're yeah. into it you're into it and outside of that it's kind of yeah no one really knows about it but there's still for some reason a sort of stamp of authority or like it's still authority. almost not mainstream even though you no know, it's not whatever you consider but it's mainstream. independent you know what i mean it's, yeah it's an independent thing everyone has done what they've done based off their own followings you know what i mean it's not through like a maybe old channels you do like a live at the apollo where you get picked by production companies or whatever it, it's all built off self developed which like, doesn't get as much respect social. for some yeah. reason yeah because like you look even you look at the, the chortle awards you know i know people would say don't we there's the only person that was local was vittorio and that's he's not on this scene really he's yeah, based yeah. over in london do you know what i mean and like it's almost like it doesn't exist in the main sure channel. there was that whole argument you know that I, mean? I i missed all of it because it wasn't on the forum but freddie quinn came over and did yes laveries and then wrote, did you hear about this he like no. wrote on a board somewhere he's like was over in laveries great scene great guys you know fucking you know try and get over if you can the, you know these guys have built their own scene and all this here shit and someone else who was like an agent was like Oh yeah, they've only had to do that because there's no interest from like mainstream stuff. And you're like, yes, exactly the point. Uh-huh. Yeah. And to the point where if someone turned around and be like, do you want to be on uh, any of these fucking stupid shows for a nominal fee? You'd yeah. be like, I don't have time and I can't be fucked. Yeah. Like you actually don't need it anymore. Well, it's not like. And they're like, they only they only went ahead and played <laughs> yeah. arenas because no one gave a fuck. You know what I mean? Yeah. What are they like? I don't know we're good enough to break through in the air and do 10 minutes for yeah. fucking eight quid. <laughs> Blue country. <laughs> you know what I mean? It, um, I should do it on my bollocks just on the front. It's just. Yeah, it is. It is like, I, I, I think it got better when everyone stopped. Uh, no one, maybe more so than me, stopped chasing the idea of like a blueprint way to make it in terms of like TV, especially. You know, I, I was probably I was probably not putting stand up at the top of my priority list. It was more, oh, but if I get on TV and do all these shows, that'll help the stand up. Whereas I was pushing that more than the actual stand up. So obviously, if the stand up. It's all about the Skrilla, baby, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. You just do it, get your cash. That's what it's all about, isn't it? But yeah, you I think, your kids you, I think you can get more distracted by like what you should be doing or the old way to do it mm. or the, this idea of like a ladder or something. 
and then when you just kind of go, well, I, I, I could have a bigger audience myself compared to channels yeah. or... Well, ultimately, it's whatever way you can convert bums on seats, really, isn't it? And if you can do that, you're swimming. And then you are a comedian, so you do have yeah. to be funny. Yes. So the, mo the most valuable bit of it is how funny you are. Yeah. But and there's no one that's like absolute murderer that no one knows about. Yeah. But there is some of that element too that even if you are murdering it, now it's sort of like we need to try to make sure there's there's a bit too many of these like white heterosexual guys kicking about here, you know, and you have to, you know, balance. So getting to the mainstream now is probably, you know, it would almost be held against you what was such a great opening for so many years. Bastards. Yeah. Bring back the olden days, you know. <laughs> you can't say <laughs> anything anymore. Yeah, I can't. But that's it, though. You can get you know. nuts back on the shelves. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that. I'm going to run for that MLA. I like, guess we'll get the nuts back on the shelves. Get the. You need to throw a bit of non-binary into the mix, like your boy Sammy Smith. You know what? Samuel yeah. Smith. Oh, never yeah. before have I seen two more kindred spirits. <laughs> he had a, he, he, he's like. He was going to wear a top last night and he's like, oh, I wore this last time it was on, so I don't want another photo of me in the same thing, so yeah. I've got a different change of clothes. Yeah. And I was like, what is it? Just a red rope tied around like Sam Smith? <laughs> Up your crack. Yeah, but you know what? Fair play to them. They have such a, like, they, he's just, they, her, <laughs> has just gone, right? You know, I'm just going to do whatever I like. And yeah. so people Wait, really <laughs> hate it. What makes do a fat guy called Sam exciting? Yeah. Then we say reasonably. Floss. Tell them I'm a bay. <laughs> there was yeah. definitely a moment or like, you know, clearly when he got into the music industry, they were like, listen, they. You're, when they got into the music industry, it's like, okay, you're gay. No real need to like... What a shit agent. <laughs> Am I? <Okay. laughs> Sam. You're gay. I hate uh, that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was like, you know, don't really, don't talk about, just do the music, wear a suit, you probably want to slim down, yeah. more ballads, you know, do, do stuff that's successful. Yeah. There was clearly a moment where like, he sold enough albums where they went, right, do your own thing, do whatever you want. Yeah. And I was like, whoa, like, <laughs> like the fucking lid came off. See and he's when like, the hair yes. went bleach blonde. Yeah. Right? Oh, no. I love that photo of him walking down the street with a, he's got like a <laughs> yellow t-shirt tied up and a yeah. knot and they're like, you know, the Daisy Duke shorts. Yeah. And he just looks like he's walking beside a flute band yeah. on the 12th. You know what I mean? Like someone's auntie. And that's million. a collab with me. <laughs> he's, I mean, like a guy, he's called Samuel Smith. Yeah. yeah. Should be in a grey Adidas tracksuit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Drinking cider. With a staffie. With a staffie. Sam <laughs> Smith featuring the Gertrude star. Yeah. <laughs> when he whips that flute out like Lizzo, it's going to be great. <laughs> but no, I just don't know what he's going to be doing next. You know, I don't think he knows. Day, no, he he, he leashed the sock on, yeah. his, on his on his the tube. <laughs> Who is that guy from? You'll know the only way is Essex. <laughs> well, Bobby Norris. <laughs> <laughs> Remember he had, the, he had the wee thing. Did you see that? He it's did, like, like half a like, pair of pants. Like, so he had a thong, right? So what? How it worked? It was just like yes, just went uh, up yeah, one yeah, leg. Yeah. But then yeah. they were like, oh, Bobby's yeah. going. Like he was in Tormelinos or something, and he's like, oh, he's going to Marbs in two more months. So he's like, oh. I need a different. So instead, he just did like. He's like, you were your lavish just, just the velvet sheath over the gun. <laughs> and that was it. Like no, a wee coin purse? Oh, I need to find this. It's brilliant. Because <laughs> oh, I'll show you both the styles. It was all pulled to the side and all, wasn't it? Yeah. It's, like it's dirty. It's on, it's on Dave's Pinterest. It's but actually, there are souls yeah. exposed at all times. Yeah, that's that. Both underpants I'd, I'd would really have had my arsehole covered than my, my dick and balls. Yeah, but then nowadays, don't they put those wee gems up them and all? Upper arseholes. Can I say the reverse chaps is something I think you should patent? Pants? The reverse. Just yeah. like called the underpants. That's yeah, but just the bum. <laughs> yeah. Just a bum and then yeah. the front's open. Oh. Oh. You know? Like a like you could have a like a piece of cloth going. You'd have the arse covered. Yeah. And then like a, a bit of material just under the under the dick and balls. Okay. Like a thin I'll bit Google of it. I'll, thin I'll, bit of material. I'll look into it. Uh, Bobby Norris trunks, right? So, <laughs> Why does he have the name of like a builder? So in it? This is I know Bobby Norris. Look at my sideways that, that was the first one he had, right? It looks like a, a long square penis going yeah. outside. <laughs> <laughs> so that was the one he started off mean? with. You know, he started off with that, and then obviously you can see a tan marks mortified for him, right? And then he's obviously like, right, it's hot though, isn't it? It is quite sexy. Boy, Bobby Norris, you can. Bobby Norris, um, and then but then this is not a sweet look from from behind. <laughs> Uh, yeah, doesn't look as well. <laughs> doesn't no. look as well. That's an issue. So we'll try. We'll go. We'll change it up. Bobby Norris. We'll say Bobby Norris pouch. Great, Bobby for, the, Norris great for the audio listeners. Bobby Norris sounds like a, a Dave Googles. gangster. Bobby yes, Norris is gangster. Web. Right, Bobby Norris. You know, Bobby like those uh, Bobby original pants. Original Danny Dyer shows. Yeah. On me, Bobby Norris. Yeah. <laughs> he looks like a bit of a fucking fruitcake with a 
Yeah. I didn't want to look like I was scared. Oh, I was no. shitting myself. I was shitting myself. <laughs> out the side of my half pants. That's there was fuck. nowhere for the shit to go. But down my fucking leg. I created pants. a siphon for the shit. <laughs> Bobby has a handler for the shits that fall out. Oh, um, I typed in Bobby Norris cock sheath, but it was just a guy with his dick out. So oh, right. I need to try to. Dave, old, you look like uh, if you live in medieval times, your nickname would be cock sheath. Cock sheath? Yeah. Hello, I'm cock sheath. <laughs> I'm here to discuss your finances. <laughs> that, that's not Bobby Norris wearing it, but that's effectively what it was. Just a wee. Yeah. <sighs> Looks like you get crystals in that, you know? If I was not in that, I'd probably wear the, the, co- oh, the cock we satchel as well. Say nothing about it. There you go. Oh, yeah, boy. <laughs> oh, yeah. He weirdly looks like my auntie. <laughs> it's me walking out of the boxing. <laughs> <laughs> the fight like that? Yeah. I mean, that's how to get in some. Ding, head. ding. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, cock sheath. Do you have to wear a wee cock sheath when you're fighting? I don't. I think maybe wear a cup because we'll a all cup. be very uncoordinated. We dick punch. One of those ones. Do you ever when play any sports thing? where people will be like, "Oh, you need a cup," and I'm like, "I don't have one." They're like, "How long?" Ah, oh, no. I'm like oh. it's Bobbitton. What I need. <laughs> Shuttlecock. To the when was the last thing? time you really took one to the nuts? And I mean, really took one. Well, did oh. your toddler sprint into yeah. your crotch the odd time? I haven't had that yet. Yeah, I've had a few of them. Uh, that's the straight leg kick. Ever You're getting it from the, the head? Ha, like, Eddie's just, fuck it, you know. He's right here. <laughs> Backhand yeah. of the fucking bag all the time. I've had a recent one I had was knocking coffee over me. Uh-huh. And I had I had the bit, probably shouldn't. Coffee, baby. <laughs> baby hits my arm. I spilled the coffee. I'll be honest, I, it was me. I spilled it. But he, <laughs> but he, he nudged. It's hard to do when you're driving. He, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> he nudged into me. And. Uh, you smacked them. That, that was a tough one. That's yeah. Fucking hell, bro. Oh. I didn't know toddlers were so dangerous. Like they're fucking. Oh. Just they're hurt you all the time. Head Anytime the my oldest under a table, you're gonna bang your head when you get up. For yeah. sure. One hundred percent. Can I? T- a, a, a faux pas, a mistake I made yesterday. Did I tell you about the chips on the car? No. So last night, took son to get his hair cut. Once he coco, decided to go get chips across the road. New chippies opened up in Hollywood. Can, awesome. I, can I say something? Get a menu fixed on the wall. Mm. Don't walk in with no menu and go, there's a QR code. It's a chippy. Yeah. Have the menu up. Because there's old people. Exactly. Don't have phones. Like my dad. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I go in, waiting for the chips. My dad's parked just outside it. I'm on the other side of the road. So the plan is, we're going to go back up to his house to eat the chips. Me, him, and my son. I walk out of the place with a big chippy bag. Big, big chippy bag, big brown bag. My dad's up the street. I go, yo. And I see his cars right beside where I am. And I, I, I go, you're taking the chips. I'll take my son, meet you up the house. I take the big chippy bag, put it down on top of his car. And I'm like, yo, come on here. And I go, doof, doof, hit the top of the car. I go, you take this, I'll take him. And my dad's like, give me like a weird look, lifts my son up, walking towards me. And I went, what? And I think he doesn't want the smell of chips in the car. Oh, yeah. And I, again, Bang bang, you take that. I'll take him. My dad gets right up to me and goes, "How do you know that man?" Uh-huh. I said, "What do you mean?" I think my dad's confused, right? Because the old guy goes, "The man in the car." And, uh, I said, "I looked in. There's just an old man <laughs> looking at me as if to say, uh, why are you hitting my car and why are you putting chips on it?'" Uh, and I was like, "Ah, oh, no, exactly the same make and color as my dad's car." I think it was like your dad. <laughs> I, I was going to go over to the guy and go, sorry, mate, this exact same as my dad's car. Just a bit confused, sorry about that. But my, before I can do it, my dad's aggressively opened the guy's door. And what you don't want is my dad. He's a flap. fucking clumping. He, he's not explaining, exactly. This dickhead here, he's sick and he's sick and I'm you, you know. And, like, and the guy has just, he's had chips put in his car. Giving he his, his car. <laughs> There's three generations of Todd's trying to get into this guy's car. <laughs> and he hates it, but like, yeah, it fucked the guy up so bad. Yeah. Just, I think it was the chip. That's just like, a, it feels like a power move. Yeah. Just yeah. putting a big bag of chips on the car. Did you offer him one? No. Dickhead. I offered him chips. Um, <laughs> Cock sheath returns. I, I love a big chippy. Mm. Big chippy. Well, there's a good one. What's your favourite like takeaway food if you're being a wee dirty bastard and you want to eat something? something what do you go for? Are you, are you, do you have to provide for the, the family or what's the this, what's this well, setup? Well, generally in life, yes. You should. <laughs> so I expect them. I might start doing that. Yeah. <laughs> right, so you mean Saturday night. No, because sometimes I will, and this is the kind of guy I am, 
I'll know what I want. I'll be like, should we get a week something? And I'll know in my head exactly what I want. And she go, what about this? And I'm like, nah, that's not what I want. But I'll go, yeah, that sounds good. You know, right. so I like if I as, as in within the type of takeaway. Yeah. So or like, I think our kind of one we would settle on between the two of us would be a chippy, like mm. fish and chips. That's hard to to beat. But if it's me, I would and you go for, is that what you go for sometimes? Shopper? Yeah, I do piece? now. Yeah, I will take a piece. Like we've been. If you hit that, like no one can be arsed cooking. Mm. It's chippy. Yeah. yeah. Our chippy does good pizza too, which is. <laughs> see, that's controversial because you see pizza advertising as chippy and you probably no, think. No, they have that the fucking. That's an the afterthought. Thing. They have the thing and all. The right. oven. They have the proper. They do good pizza. It's great. Mm-hmm. But there's a Thai place sort of near us, but yeah. a wee bit too far to go get it and bring it back. Yeah. So by the time you get back, it's not going to be. Yeah, the pad yeah. Thai is a brick. Mm-hmm. It just comes out in a block. I go. I think Chinese, and we have a, we have a system where. I like salted chili huh. chicken. I like honey chili chicken. So does my wife. So instead of both getting the same thing, get both chips or rice, both, and then mix those four things. So you're getting uh, best of both worlds. I love how you said that. Like you cracked the code. Oh, <laughs> so it's called sharing. You I've, been, uh, I've, been tell- I've been telling. Pe- I've been telling people about this. She like, has this a couple bits. I have a couple of bits. See, uh, that's why I, 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 I hate going out for like tapas or something. So I will just, we'll just, sure. If yeah, you but want. you don't know what I hear when people do. They go like, "And I mean, would you like this?" And you, I maybe have a wee bit of that. You go, you get the menu, and you go see from about there to there, four yeah. of each. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And bring them all. Yeah, out. that's what I. And oh, then there's I'll no disputes. Can I try? But you, no, you know, I went to Edo the other week, four hundred and eighty quid. It's just memory. That was <laughs> <it>. <laughs> my. Uh, my <laughs> but I did forget that I ordered a ham hock. Oh wow! And it takes longer than anything. Your so nickname in medieval times? We, we, uh, 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 Mox, yeah. <laughs> Hide your children. <laughs> <laughs> Not for that reason. Uh, uh, Homeboy. No, no, but they fucking had all the Homeboy? shit, and then I was about to leave, and they brought a, a full medieval yeah. ham hock of a thing. Mm, that is ham is the the it's the bo- the best the goat. Ham. See you sh- just ham is the goat. Shirtless yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's some more I love than like ha- ham is just unbelievable. Um, Orin's mom oh, makes man. the best ham on earth. So I, I was in yeah. Edo, it's a fantastic restaurant. But even I was like, you're like, bro, it's not quite good. No? It's the I said homeboy because of that guy. That way, the the rapist dude. Nice. Well, he wasn't, but he was talking. Yeah, about Jesus. In Lincoln Park, Lincoln Park rapist. Yeah, yeah, homeboy. Yeah, Potent- yeah, one of the one of the viral clips that I love. Yeah, remember Do this what? guy? No. They climbing yeah. in your windows. They snatching, snatching your people oh, yeah. up. Yeah. yeah, him. You said snatching your uh, climbing. Your, I can't remember. Yeah, it worked at the time. But what I was going to say, my wife's a vegetarian, so we're getting food. I just ordered the meat. She can't eat it. I ordered so the I meat. <laughs> she vegetarian? Yeah. Stupid oh my god. <laughs> I. But here, mate. Sometimes, if you're lucky, she'll eat some meat. If you know what I'm saying. Oh, I, what do you mean? Rim Rim cocktail sausage every Rim Christmas. <laughs> it's not. Is that meat? <laughs> That's your name from medieval times. <laughs> what? Rim job. <laughs> Ham hock rim job. Yeah. <laughs> Bobby rim job. <laughs> the worst James Bond villain ever. <laughs> He He's still does Chinese hand. face for no reason. <laughs> what does he do? <laughs> do you expect me to die? No, Mr. Bond. I expect you to get rimmed. <laughs> <laughs> Drives a black taxi. It's like, a, it's like a fucking, you know that laser scene? He's tied to yeah. a thing and he just goes, I can't. Up the table. <laughs> <laughs> Sweating. <laughs> And Bond's like, no, no. And then he hits him and he's like, he's on a stroll. <laughs> <laughs> oh, rim job. <laughs> and then just that opening scene. His asshole just. <laughs> <laughs> All the Bonds just look like shit, though. Uh, yeah. They're too old by the time they do it. Yeah, they're yeah. slightly too old. Yeah. Like, how Roger Moore was James Bond? I don't know. And I'm he not was, a big and he was my favourite Bond. You love him. Move. That was his favourite Oscar <laughs> Move. What do you mean he's always running? No, you know like uh like Sean Connery. <coughs> like like what was his his trademark saying and Smack the wife. Yeah. <laughs> oh, with a clutched face. Remember that I'm interview? Yeah, that interview off. and she's like, but you don't actually mean that's what and he's like, No, yeah. no, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah she's so many it. times where he can get out of it as just oh. a bit of like an anecdote yeah. or something. He's like, No, 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 I'm, I'm oh. He basically was like, Sometimes there's no other option. Yeah. yeah. To smack the wife. There's no other recourse. <laughs> Other than an uppercut to a stupid fat fish. <laughs> <laughs> so why does Roger Moore say move? No, that's just his thing. Any time he's always trying to get and away. And when from it kicks people. off, and, he, and he's always like in a fucking bazaar somewhere, and he's like, <laughs> move, and, it's, uh, and then off he goes, and he fucking hovercraft. He's, like, <laughs> he's just, he's just a character, Roger Moore. Like he's brilliant. <sighs> but like, <sighs> for some reason, like in England, like being into Bond is like people love that. Yeah. Here it's just not, not the right. But you know what though. 
everyone slappers at Roger Moore's ball, but he had the best the best baddies. Like yeah, yeah, Jaws probably. was his big baddie and he yeah. was a scary bastard. I I, I hey, Jaws. Pierce Brosnan was one I grew up with. Yeah, me too. Yeah. He was good. Golden Eye, what a game that was. Oh, uh, 64, classic. I'd love to play classic. that now. Did you see the clip of uh Pierce Brosnan being interviewed by a guy who was like, Oh, I'm from Calvin or whatever? Oh yeah, and he chats away to him. And he just changes his eyes. Oh, fantastic! <laughs> Isn't that funny how like that clip goes viral because it's an actor talking to someone that's not also famous, like for yeah. two minutes. Yeah, they're like big-hearted Pierce Brosnan. He's just literally talking to a guy. Yeah. Hasn't been there in like forty years. Yeah. Oh Jesus! Why I remember it now. The <laughs> fucking sheep and the jumpers and all. <laughs> Why did you laugh when I said about Goldeneye? Because I just got real enthusiastic about it. Yeah, and also it's upstairs. So it's upstairs. Hi, Karen. <laughs> No blasters. Do I can't talk with him, is that? No Can't blasters. be raging, we set up a podcast. It's just we have my guests on to play at Goldeneye. Wait. No. What about the, you know, people people make jokes about the holding music on Goldeneye? Yeah. Absolute banger. Hmm? Chat away there, I'll, play, I'll bring it up. Do you okay. remember that when you press pause on Goldeneye? Mm. It was like a. Uh, but it was quite it was like, tense. It, gets it, it was like fucking produced by Dr. Dre. Is that That's just Bond generally. Is that, dun, is that for all the Bonds? Ring, ting, ting. That's how you know rim jobs come. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what's that noise? Can I play this down the mic? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It slaps, man. Yeah. Wait for the wait for the drop. Oh yeah. It is slightly Dr. Dre. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just didn't try to think how Rim Jobs playing the xylophone. Golden Eye, I was always like, I'm such With a drumstick up a sauce. Yeah. <laughs> ding 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 ding. And for some reason it's stored up a sauce like yeah. you made it. <laughs> yeah, it comes out <laughs> like an airplane wheel. <laughs> Would you like uh, some bottom music? Uh, <laughs> ring a ding ding. Uh, oh dear. Uh, oh, Imagine if my job Mary Blofeld. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what are all the words you said? <laughs> my blowjob. <laughs> ah, blowjob, we meet again, you bastard. <laughs> Move! <laughs> <laughs> Fighting to get blue. <laughs> Me first! <laughs> Bastard! <laughs> <laughs> the old boy's just scrapping. <laughs> ah, my shmoney penny. <laughs> Shut your mouth! <laughs> Brosnan comes in. Jesus, you're sick! <laughs> <laughs> Lick my arse! <laughs> and Timothy Dalton walks in, they're like, Who's this guy? Who the fuck? I know. Who the um, fuck's this guy? <laughs> I hope I hope I can fi- I can find this. It's uh, the only reason I bring it up is because your Pierce Brosnan accent reminded me slightly <laughs> of Louis Walsh. Dave, did I ever send you this text? You know, this is sort of thing we send each other. Uh, Louis Walsh in the car telling the person to fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say, a slover? This is so like yeah, like out of context. I don't know why he's doing this. You know, he's like a cheeky, like lovable yeah. kind of guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's just right. They're I probably going, It's Larry Walsh! Stop shouting my fucking name. He's right. He's yeah, just right. remember there was a guy on it, on the X Factor, a young black fella, and Louis Walsh's critique of his singing was, oh. You're like a young Lenny Henry. Yeah. And the guy was like, Yeah, hi, I'm on. Yeah. He's like, yeah. oh, Maybe I look a bit like the yeah. guy, but yeah. Judge was singing, you know. You're like a young Lenny Henry. <laughs> the guy, like, oh, the guy was not like, helpful to the guy at all. All right, cheers. And Simon was like, Break, break, yeah. fucking. Do you saw an old X Factor clip? I was like doing the rounds recently of this young lad who's like, he's like, yeah, they fucking call me, for, you know, he has a stupid name and he's all gangster and whatever. And uh, he goes in the audition and he's like, Sam Webb. It's like totally, it's like, totally like, you think he's got a rap or something and then he just launches into some kind of fucking crater yeah. shit. Fly me to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> me mates call me fucking uh, like Biggins. <laughs> Tracy Biggins. Calls me tits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh guys oh. Uh, another crack David mm. anything you can you want to promote anything you talk about nah just oh. wow oh wow that was, that was I game. reacted well it was good good <laughs> acting oh. yeah <laughs> that thing is, isn't announced yet yeah. might be by the time we're doing this if it is I'll put it in the what thing. thing is it the thing can I say where it would be happening maybe Bangor and Belfast 
No. Okay. That's August. All right. Yeah, but there's something that'll be there. But you can just follow me on social media and stuff. Dave Valley, just look my name and comedy and stuff. And I've do a podcast, Slag Out Podcast, out on a Thursday. Jack Lavery's out, yeah. Wednesday, Thursday. How pissed off were you when I asked for a spot and then was like, I'm here, but I, I don't have time to go on? It was. Eight out of ten. It was the. The build up to it. Don't, yeah, don't make me be answering you. Yeah. <laughs> just, like, literally, just. That's call, reasonable. Just turn up. Uh-huh. Yeah. If you want to go on, you can get on for five anytime. But I was, I was all back and forward and moving people I was, about and I was, I was like, I can't go and I was like No no no, I was there, I was outside and then I was like, fuck, but I've got to close this gig. And then when I got there, it was like, take as much time as you want. The break it was the I got there at the break. Yeah. And I was like, ah But then you didn't want to come in so people could see you. So you had to be snuck in. Yeah. You know, like Princess Diana getting into Dodies. You had to like, like Mary the no one saw. <laughs> Don't say my like, fuck off, Dave. Yeah. Fuck off. <laughs> Don't you know what? When are you doing another one of the, have you done his edge one? No. First he, of March is the next one. Dude, it's great. It's a good time. Get you to do the next one. I'll try not to have it on Lavery's night. Sorry. Sorry. This one's on a Wednesday. Can try I, and do it on a Tuesday. Can I do it again? There's no good comedy on Tuesday, so we'll do it on a Tuesday. Can I do it again? Certainly, yeah. Burn, burn silly okay. there. Um, Slight like, huh? fucking Jesus Christ, man. Let me get that match out of your hand. <laughs> no one's dabbed in three years. I know, but you I still put your shoulder out, dab on that. I see death, I think I did a rotator cuff there. Oh. Are you coming for lunch? I am. You coming for lunch? Aye, my wife is in the lunch spot. Oh, right yeah? Now. Oh, why? All right. Nice, well, a couple of ham hocks for the boys. Yeah. couple of ham hocks and you, hey. Yeah. I'm Set hungry. the you table for a room job. You know what I'm? <laughs> Bomb. Yeah. What was your name again? My name was Cocksheath. Cocksheath and the ham hock. Give me an amulet of meat. <laughs> <laughs> What Most I like is at the start of that, Slag. you were like, I said you'd be called Coxie. So you were like, yeah. yes, I'm Coxie here for your finances. Yeah. Thinking if you were cast in a medieval yeah. thing, you'd be playing like dainty, like finance guy. You you would be the brute. Give me the You'd have no lines, yeah. put it that way. Brute. No. You'd have no lines, you just have a leather mask on. Like, yeah. <laughs> 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 like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like Ian? <laughs> More like Hodor. <laughs> but a hungry Hodor. Mask. <laughs> hungry, hungry Hodor. <laughs> hungry, hungry Hodor. <laughs> And you're trying to, you're, that's what makes yeah. you angry. Yeah. Can't they through the mask? <laughs> and like, oh, what a tease. But like, fucking am. Can't put it in my flat face. <laughs> well, it's an interpretive play coming to the stage yeah. soon. Guys, thanks very much. See you later. Bye.